this goes back back to 2006, 2007, and I had uh, I had my very first company, Best Value Heating and Cooling, and I had purchased another couple of companies here in town, and I would rally all of our people every week, and I would say, we're going to buy every company in town, we're going to own this town, blah blah blah, very generically, right? Well, one day the phone rings in my office. And it's Frank Johnson that at the time owned Wright Plumbing and Heating, which was the second oldest company here in town, 60 or 70 years old. And he's reading me the ride out. He goes, what's this I hear about you telling your people you're buying our company? And I said, Frank, 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 relax. It's just a thing I do every week. I tell him we're going to buy everybody. And your name might have came up because you're an old company, but it's just a generic thing. He's like, oh, okay. He goes, hey, well, I mean, would you, are you interested in buying buy it? <laughs> and that's, that's how I ended up buying it, right? So it's about find, finding a rallying cry, something people yeah. can identify with and gather around. Listen, Alex over here is, is the king, the whiz at, 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 at values and goal alignment and all that kind of stuff. And that stuff's super important from a practical day in, day out managing uh, your company. But I think there's a lot of value in finding a story that people can sink their teeth into and say, man, I'm part of something, you know, I'm part of this battle and I got to go out there and fight the battle and people will take a bullet for you if they feel like they're invested in the story with you.